Well, hello everybody, my name is Joss. I'm Mark. And welcome to the Gak Show. And today we are looking at the top three alternatives to Stratocasters. Yeah, to that fine young man behind me. Oh, look at that delicious, beautiful So basically, guitar. if you don't want to buy a Strat and you don't want to buy with Fender, then these are three alternative options. Which is quite funny seeing as Charvel is like a Fender owned brand. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so it's maybe, so yeah. Don't listen to anything I'm saying, you're still buying with Fender. No, but the difference being that they're like, yeah, if, as Mark said, if there's for some reason you don't want to dig with, uh, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to step in with the cool cats of Fender, um, maybe you want to sort of dip your toes in the ponds of other companies. Um, and we've chosen three guitars that are at a fantastic price point um, that sit within those realms of getting those sort of spanky strat tones, but also maybe do a little bit more. Yeah, uh, like, uh, can we start with this one? I think this so. Is, this is the first time... Oh, wait, are you going to play this one first? Did no, you want, I you think to compare? We, I was going to, but everybody knows know what, what a Strat, strat sounds, sounds like. like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so. so this is the first time I've played this. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's Charvel. It's a Charvel. SoCal or Sandy? Sandimus. Um, and I've had a... It's a player's guitar, right? It's a proper player's guitar. And I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Like, I've, I haven't played many player's guitars, and... Um, I was saying to you earlier that it's really easy to play. Yeah. And you were like, well, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. I do like Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, um, yeah, it was the, as you said, it's a, an incredibly easy guitar to play. And I, I was saying that those guitars are built for that, you know, built for that, not only just being chilled out and stuff on it, but it's a, you know, the full on metal shred thing as well. Yeah. You've got the Floyd Rose, you've got the Seymour Duncan's, yeah, but. Man. As it does coil tap, so you can get those single coil tones out of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be shredding because it's not what I do. Shred. But um, but just to play as like a, a you know single coil. Uh, so do you know the specs for this? Yeah. Um. So um, it's an older body. You've got the quilt flame maple top, uh, Seymour Duncan JB and a jazz uh, Floyd Rose system, obviously uh, three way selector switch, but with a coil tap on it, so you can get those single coil tones. Yeah. Uh, maple um, neck with a maple fretboard, um, and it also has the stainless steel frets on there. Twenty-two of them. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. I like it. You want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to twiddle? Cool. You take this. We'll talk about that afterwards. Oh, do some twiddles. Do some twids. So I'm gonna yeah, unplug you. Light. That's lighting compared to this. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. Is Every Nick Johnson that I have picked up has had some weight to it. Um, yeah, so I'm going through this uh, orange Rockerverb 50 Mark III uh, on the drive channel, but basically clean on a single coil. But if... It's a little tiny amount of breakup because it's a humbucker. But anyway, here you go. Here's some, here's some neck tone tones. Neck tone tones? Neck pickup tones. <laughs> Give me some open chords. You know, I've never heard anyone cover that song and make it sound good. No, I, no. It's, apart it's, from, you know. Yeah, you know. But that, apart from that. Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult one, that. But um, great selection of chords. Basic, but... Sounds more of In fact, I'd say his cover's better than the original. Yeah, I would say so. But then that's it. No one else can touch it. No, no one. Anyway, um, <laughs> sounds great. Yeah, really I mean, nice. and that's just, that is on a little bit of breakup. So that's the neck, but if I go Shazam and then pull that up, I have a split coil tone. Funk it. Funk it. So you've got, you know, a very wide array of different sounds to go into. If I put it to the bridge uh, pickup now, the amp is going to break up. You 
you doing? What am I doing? Don't play that. I'm sorry. We're not in a bloody pub functions band. True, I'm sorry. Plimsoll by Full Tone. Bit of drive on the humbucker. <laughs> What price are we looking at for that? Uh, these are around about the 750, 800 pound oh, really? mark. Yeah, under a thousand pounds. I'm into it. Yeah. Charvel are doing some cool things. Yeah, I mean, they've we, they've got the, these ones are great. I'm not a massive fan of the ridiculously attractive tops on these guitars. Um, they also do like a, like a scratch plated SoCal with like a black finish or a, a blo just a normal colored finish. And then obviously, as you guys all know, the DK24 series which is the humbucker single single with like the satin. orange or the yeah the satin finishes That's and so the roasted good. maple necks. So, so there's um, there's one of our first choices, which is the, uh, okay. the Charvel. Take the... The Nick Johnston. The Nick Johnston. The Ni is that a sparkle? Yeah, it's called Atomic Silver. Uh, specification wise, standard sort of strat sort of style layout, older body, maple neck, rosewood fretboard, locking tuners. It's a very flat profile neck on this, uh, fretboard should I say. Very flat fretboard. Mm. Strings are incredibly low action. Uh, extra jumbo frets. Schecter's own single coil pickups have obviously been sorted out in collaboration with Nick Johnston himself. Volume tone and this beautiful trem system. Uh, this being a full single coil guitar, this is probably the most uh, S type guitar we have here. But once again, going through the orange. So, strong. Yeah, it's a good sound. That's the neck pickup. This, the, my favorite sound on a S-type guitar is the uh, the neck and middle together. <coughs> oh, you can hear that straight away. Give it. That you know that sounds straight away sort of thing. Uh, middle and bridge together. You get that sort of Telecaster. <laughs> And then net, uh, bridge, should I say. It's a thick. It's me for the bridge. Yeah, so it's a guitar that I feel as if would be okay with a bit of drive. Uh, all the drive that I'm getting is coming from the full-time plimsoll pedal. Ah! So this is the neck. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to show you the neck, the split, and then the bridge. <laughs> Finally, Das Bridge. And finally, Das Bridge. I feel as if you want to play it because it feels like a modern guitar. It doesn't doesn't feel like an S-type guitar. It doesn't feel like ah! It doesn't feel like th that it should 
that it should be played in a S sort of style for some reason. Not that that should that, that should make any sense. You should be able to play whatever you want on any of these guitars. But that guitar comes really in at about, flat. Isn't yeah, it? super flat fretboard. Comes in at about seven hundred and nineteen pounds for the Atomic Silver. So oil. similar to the uh, Charvel. Yeah, price in terms wise. of price wise, and so is the press uh, the premium. This is the premium uh, Ibanez, the AZ series. Yeah, guitar. yeah. I mean, I like the ACs. Yeah, they're cool, man. I think they're the best thing that Ibanez have released in a long, a long time. Big chunky necks, uh, roasted maple fretboard oh, and neck. Yeah, it's so cool. I guess that's what these two are missing for me. Yeah, the roasted maple. I mean, um, as we said, the Charvel stuff has sort of introduced that. Yeah, but, um, but not, on, not on this price range. No, not on that one. Um, crazy flame maple top on this, older body. Five-way selector switch, um, including, I believe that's a coil tap or a switch for the bridge humbucker. Uh, volume tone, Ibanez's trim system. Big old chunky necks on these. Big frets. Lumen laid dots so you can see in the dark. Beautiful neck carve on this as well. And the finish is nice. I really like the finish on the premium models. Just you like shows that colour? Uh, I mean... It's like a brownie red one I quite like. Yeah, that one's really cool. That one's really nice. Um, the good thing about the premium series one, it comes with the, uh, the Seymour Duncan pickups that the Prestige model gets as well. So you're going to still get that tone yep. that the Prestige models do. Um, once again, having aftermarket pickups, same as the Charvel. They're a little bit hotter, I feel. But that might even be just the big chunky neck on it that's giving me that sort of vibe. Uh, the in-between tones with the neck in the middle. Still that quintessential sort of Strat vibe going on. And then obviously you've got your bridge humbucker, which... That meets it up. Get that coil tapped bridge. So you get that. I think it's even quackier than um, the Charvel. I feel like that's got the most versatility in it. I feel, I think you're right. In terms of, um, this would be a good uh, all round guitar. If you weren't just looking for an S type style guitar that you didn't want to get a Fender instead, something like this, just having the full, yeah. full palette range. Yeah, exactly. Um, the Seymour Duncan Bridge Humbucker obviously sounds great with a bit of drive. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, I they all sound. Amazing. Amazing. They all sound great, man. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, they all sound great. Like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I think you're right, though. I think in terms of just diversity, in terms of your tonal palette, uh, this has to be has to be right up there for me. I believe these are just over a thousand uh, for the premium model guitar. Okay. Oh, so they're a bit more. They're a little bit dearer. Oh, um, that is chunky. Yeah, it is a chunky neck. But the Seymour Duncans really do, you know, they do add up with that, and the roasted maple, uh, and the lumen laid dots, the glow in the dark, gl the glow in the dark side dots, all that sort of stuff. So, for me, the nicest to play is the Charvel. Yeah. In terms of feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. But 
you know, I think it's, it depends what kind of, if you're after an alternative to a strat, I guess it depends what kind of strat player you are. Yeah. And what you're after. Yeah, because I mean, at the end of the day, we are doing alternatives to strats, but these are modern alternatives. So if you wanted something that was gonna sort of do a strats job, only a strat will do that job. Yeah. Theoretically, on yeah, paper, I get down you. on paper. Cool. Um, but there are some bits and pieces like this that can sort of suffice. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, Ali Akbar Khan. All right, my name is Joss. I'm Mark. And thank you for watching The Gag Show.